the other side of LA what's up will be coming the Lakers today and pretty much a completely new newly revamped Lakers I would say starting five or projected starting five Lonzo Ball at the one KCP at the two Ingram at the three Rando at the four and newly acquired center Brooke Lopez at the five Luke Wallen definitely has what it takes to revamp the squad and take it to another level. But we'll have to see what else the new guys can bring to the squad. The starting lineup has pretty much been overhauled almost completely. With the latest additions of Lonzo Ball, KCP, uh, I think signed from free agency from the Detroit Pistons, uh, traded for Brooke Lopez from the Brooklyn Nets. They did end up losing D'Angelo Russell for that Lopez trade. They got rid of Mozgov. They also got rid of Nick Young, which I think is replaceable. And they're going to stick with the youth movement. I think it's definitely the way to go. KCP is just there for 3 and D for now. I think they paid him 18, 18 19 million dollars, I believe. Um, he was a restricted free agent from Pistons, and I guess they didn't want to pay him that kind of money, which is fine. Lonzo Ball does have a very strange release. But I think what they're going to do is they're going to pretty much run through ball. Although still having a lot of off-ball movement, a lot of screens. Excuse me, they finally have a big man that can post. Since uh, Andrew Bynum's Pau Gasol days, really. Um, so that's going to be new. Julius Randle will continue to improve. Brandon Ingram getting a starting job might actually be a good thing for him but in my opinion he would probably excel coming off the bench once again just to continue to develop uh, i don't really want him guarding starting threes right now because the west is just completely loaded you don't want him guarding mellow you don't want him guarding kd right away it's just too much for him and i think it'll break his confidence right off the bat that's just my opinion however um Alonzo Ball is definitely a different type of animal. He's a very, very big guard. He can shoot the three. Um, since college, he's been taking really long threes already. So that shouldn't be a problem. Entering Brooke Lopez to this free flow offense might be the biggest challenge Walton has to deal with right now. But aside from that, I think this team will only get better over time. So the top five players by rating, starting from Brooke Lopez, is quite interesting. Uh, Jordan Clarkson coming off the bench as a six man, pretty much what he did for last year, I think is very beneficial for him as well. Will also increase his trade value should they, you know, be interested in somebody else, maybe another young piece or a veteran piece. We don't know. Julius Randle, I'm still not too big on right now, personally. Uh, Larry Nance Jr. is still there. Zubak is still there. Ingram only going to get better. His shooting rating is not great right now Luo Dang is I guess the veteran presence they did recently sign Andrew Bogut uh, Tyler Ennis and Corey Brewer also good additions uh, good veteran presence for the young players but I don't see them playing too too much in the rotation um, rebounding it's a big if for me um, Lopez is not known for his D I think he had like six rebounds for so many years now uh, Randall is Definitely getting better on the rebounding side. Larry Nance Jr. coming off the bench. I could see it. Zubak coming off the bench. I could also see it. Uh, Bogut is basically there to teach young kids. I don't see him playing too many minutes because he's not mobile enough and doesn't quite fit what Luke Wong wants to do in the youth movement. And that is pretty much it for this episode of the Lakers. Please give us a like and subscribe for more 2k content and leave a comment below to see what other things i might have missed thanks for watching guys i will see you next time